In the Salinas Valley, there are tough jobs and then there is cutting lettuce. You have to go on the bottom, train it, and get the bad leaf from there. Edgar Gonzalez has been doing it for 10 years. So what, do this another couple hundred times? <laughs> Let's see how your back is going to feel. <laughs> Hunched over 10 hours a day, six days a week for 10 bucks an hour. It's a job nobody wants until now. When you first saw this machine, what did you think? I love it. Taylor Farms has built the world's first so-called auto romaine harvester that uses a high pressure stream of purified water to cut five heads at a time. It's down about a half inch off the ground and the blue fingers that you see on top that come across, they're gently bringing the product up onto the, the product belt. Workers then pack them into boxes while standing upright underneath a shaded canopy. The rig brings in twice the lettuce in half the time, so workers get paid a bit more, $11 an hour. And they do it with half the people. Why did you invent this? Uh, the lack of labor. Border security has tightened, the economy in Mexico is improving, and immigration reform has stalled. At the end of the day, we need to cut lettuce and take it into the plant. But finding the way to do that, that's not heavily dependent on people, is where the future of the industry needs to go. So, after years of enjoying cheap labor, the agricultural industry is finally turning to robots, which are also getting cheaper to make. Taylor Farms' Robo Packer works 18 hours a day loading boxes of lettuce with pinpoint accuracy, doing the work of six humans. The Robo Packer will pay for itself in two years. Eliminates the risk of uh, repetitive motion injuries, which is always a concern in a job like this. This is a hard job to do all day, eight hours. It's hard on the body. Taylor Farms says for every two low-skilled jobs lost, they're creating one high-skilled job to maintain and operate the machines. It's creating a better job where people can make more money, they feel better at the end of the day, not bending over doing back-breaking work. Oh, my God. I only did like a half a dozen of these, and I'm <laughs> dying already. More robots, fewer injuries, higher pay. Lettuce cutters rejoice. In Salinas, Kitto, KPIX5.